stay off the internet about cleaning. <laughs> yeah. So with the- Except for this video, which will live on this, the internet. That, that's right. <laughs> I'm Mike Shea, author of Rimfire Revolution, and today we're gonna to talk to you about cleaning rimfire rifles. Now, there's a lot of bad information or apocryphal information out there. Like some guys will say you never need to clean a rimfire or maybe clean it once a season. Other guys in the precision world will just scrub them bare and clean it every time you shoot it. The truth seems to be the best science that we have seems to support it's somewhere in the middle of that. And so what we've done is we've gone right to the expert. This is Mike Bush from Voodoo. He's leading the field, his company's leading the field right now in precision rimfire shooting. So Mike, can you tell us like why we clean and when we clean and, and the best way to do it? What's your philosophy? I'd, I'd be happy to. And, and this is, it's actually one of my favorite subjects in, uh, Somewhat because there's some controversy, you know, to your point uh, surrounding cleaning and when and why and how. The bottom line is, I, I, I've said this before, there are three commandments when it comes to your rim firing cleaning. Uh, and I keep it, you know, very short in that thou shalt clean their, your rim fire, thou shalt keep it simple, and thou shalt use a bore guide. There's some rimfire specific solutions that you yes. like. So yeah. um, can you tell us about that and tell us like maybe what's different between rimfire and what we need for center fire? Yes. So so what we what we do is we uh, we recommend uh, a rimfire blend uh, from Bortec and uh, for a little stronger uh, application based on carbon buildup, we recommend the C4 carbon remover. And those solutions are uh, are not caustic in any way. Uh, they, they could remain in contact with the material or any, you know, like this is a Cerakote finish on this rifle, uh, in contact with even the finish on this rifle, and you'd never be able to tell it was there once you wipe it away. Mm -hmm. So the, the reason that we use two different materials is because of uh, the environment inside the firearm as it relates to rim fire. So generally, I tell people that if you make the comparison between center fire and rim fire, as far as that environment goes, there's actually a weather pattern that, that, that occurs each time you press the trigger. In a center fire, you're gonna produce in a magnum temperatures as high as 7,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. So that heat's very cleansing. Uh, that, that would be in a magnum round, uh, non-magnum's around 5,000 degrees. So that heat actually helps you clean uh, that firearm. Well, in a rim fire, you're not producing that much heat and the atmosphere is very swampy. So the unburned, uh, you know, powder and, you know, various aspects of what takes place in the combustion process, uh, you know, it's a very dirty environment and it being wet, uh, you know, that particulate matter tends to ball up inside and, and especially for those that shoot suppressors or use suppressors, uh, it, it really uh, accelerates the fact that the rifle gets dirtier faster. So with that lack of heat and you're, you're you know, with a rimfire, you're, you're very slightly atomizing a little bit of lead mm. uh, with the little bit of heat that's generated and that lead mixes with uh, other components of the combustion process uh, forward of the chamber, in the lead area of the chamber, and it'll produce a ring of carbon, mm -hmm. and it will solidify, and it's really hard to get out. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people just really brush until it's gone, uh, but the problem is that longitudinal brushing across that ring does not remove it all. So I'll actually use uh, a chamber plug, uh, and I'll, I'll plug the chamber with, with this plug, stand the rifle on its butt, and fill the bore up with mm. uh, carbon cleaner, uh, carbon cleaner. Interesting. Removal. And it, it can, I've, I've had them sit for as long as 24 hours, uh, it, you know, and, and it not hurt a thing because the solutions are so safe for the, for the metal. Uh, so remove, you know, pour, the, pour the, uh, the solution out, remove the plug, and at that point, use a nylon brush and a few swipes of that nylon brush, then the, the ring's gone. And then, you know, push some patches through. Um, so there's, there's no need for excessive scrubbing, you know, inside a barrel that uh, can be very sensitive to damage, especially as it relates to what you see on the target. How often do you recommend people clean their guns? So I, I clean 
Uh, regardless of what I see on the target, I'll clean every 1,000 rounds. If I see something on the target, accuracy falling off, uh, you know, prior to that point, I'll clean. Um, I don't use a bore scope. Uh, I think bore scopes are a great idea. Uh, I, I just happen to not have one. Um, but I, can, I have an ability to inspect uh, my chamber area to see if I might have a carbon ring. So uh, I'll either know when I clean, yes, I do have a carbon ring. No, I do not. Typically, I don't have a carbon ring. I, 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 because I do a lot of testing, a lot of my shooting is like a laboratory environment. Uh, I don't think that, you know, I give one time to build up. But let's say that, let's say that you have a carbon ring and you don't want to clean the rest of your barrel. And this is kind of a common practice amongst, uh, amongst some shooters and it, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't violate either of the three cleaning commandments as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, thank you. Well, Mike, thank you so much for yeah. um, giving, showing us how it works, uh, the do's and don'ts, um, you know, the right solutions a bore guide, the right tools, like so much of cleaning is just getting the right tools up front and and chilling out on the elbow grease. You Chill. know, you're not you're not right. cutting wood. Yep, chill out, don't don't overthink it. Uh, you know, stay away from the home brews is my recommendation. I mean I'm not a chemist so I don't try to make my own cleaning solutions or uh, you know I don't know any chemists that have made cleaning solutions other than you know guys from Bortec. Uh, and and I, I, I like the Vortex solutions because they are not caustic or acidic yeah. or, or in any way, you know, create a toxic uh, condition for the barrel. So uh, rim fires are far more complex than center fires. So uh, center fire cleaning is different because you have so much heat. Rim fire cleaning is harder because you don't have heat. So uh, just take that into account, use the right tools and solutions and, and uh, keep it simple. Thanks so much, Very Mark. Good. We appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Thank you.